Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me. Welcome to Life is Feudal, the MMO. We have finally, finally made it to water. My food is super low, but I think we can go ahead and we can start fishing now. I'm going to show you everything you need to know. I covered some of it in the last episode, but I want to go ahead and I want to cover it again for you. Just to give you a quick recap of what you might have missed if you didn't see that one. If you didn't, go back and watch it. By the way, guys, if you like these videos, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, will you? And if you are brand new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. All right, guys, so when it comes to fishing, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hit F3. You want to find the best tile that you can by inspecting it. Well, I don't want to dig it up yet. You want to hit this, and you want to go ahead and go down to inspect. You want to inspect the tile. Find the highest number you can find. Then dig it up. Once you find the highest number you can find, then dump it in the water. Boosh, like I have. This right here is an 87 this is 87 fertile soil right here in this water. And then what you're going to do is you want to make sure you have a campfire built. And inside the campfire, you want to make sure that it is filled with billets. Hardwood billets that you're going to chop down from a tree. Then you're going to want to go ahead and grab all your branches because you need branches to cook fish with. So I have 12 right here that I got from that tree right in front of me. And then when you're ready, just go ahead and just right click on your fishing pole. Hit equip. Boom, there it is, big old long pole. I have a long pole. Did you know that? Oh, yeah, you did, because you just saw it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and right click, and I'm going to go ahead and actually, you know what? No. Go into first person. Go right click on that, on that spot, hit fish, and you're going to fish right in that spot. That's all you have to do. Now you just sit here, open your inventory, and wait for the fish to appear. That's all you got to do. Now, your stamina is going to go down just a little bit, but you should be okay. It's going to take a little while for us to get fish, guys. I'm going to fish until my food is down to almost nothing, and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, and we're back, and it hasn't been a bad day of fishing. We've caught... Uh, the very first animal we caught was a salmon. It was only quality of three, but we've got a uh, codfish, a herring, another herring, codfish, trout, another codfish, and another salmon. Last one we caught is a salmon. We're going to stop right there because my, because my food is at five. And I want to go ahead and I'm going to cook some of this stuff up because it is absolutely necessary that I eat right now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click on add some fuel. And we're going to go ahead and hit light on. Now we got our campfire working. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to right click. And now prepare food has shown up. And we're going to go ahead and, and we're going to, see that one right there? Everything that you can do once, you can click on this and make it happen forever. Infinity. That's the infinity symbol. So if you're digging, if you're mining, not mining, it won't do it with mining. But if it gives you that diamond, you can switch it from just one action to as many actions as necessary. So we're going to prepare some food. And we're going to go down here. This is all of your your primitive foods, guys. This is really, really good stuff. You won't have all this. Guarantee you won't. But you know what? What I do have is I do have some salmon. We're going to cook up both of these salmons right now. Mass produce. I am starving. I'm officially starving now. And that's okay. That's all right. We have a little bit of time before we're going to start taking damage. Each one of the salmon are going to give you 10 portions. That's amazing. 10 portions of salmon. Next, we're going to go to the fried herring. We've got two of those. Let's cook those up. Now, remember, the type of fish doesn't matter. Only the quality of the, of the end result matters. So it doesn't matter. You get one fried herring a piece. That's not a lot, obviously, one plate of herring. What the heck, shouldn't you get more? You should, but you don't. So, you know, that's why salmon are the, the prime fish to be catching right now. Or ever, really. Codfish, I've got three of those. Let's cook those up. Every codfish you get is going to give you eight portions. So, codfish is the second most productive fish that you're going to be able to catch in this game. You've got salmon at ten, codfish at eight. 
Now we, we've cooked those up. We're going we're gonna to fry up this one trout we've got. We're going to produce that. You can hit mass produce. It doesn't matter. And we have one fried trout. All right. So let's go ahead and get out of this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to right click, add some fuel. And then we're going to go, oh, what? Okay. It's going to, it, we hit, did the inspect. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click, add some fuel. We're going to click on that. And we're going to go ahead and extinguish the fire. Close this out. And then we're going to look in our inventory right quick. Um, all right, so we go with the best quality food possible. So what is this? This turned out to be quality 18. This one is quality 17. This is quality 16. This is quality 18, so this is on par with that. Quality 15. Quality 17. Oh, no, 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 don't eat that. Don't eat that. I don't want that. I don't want to eat that. And there's a reason why. And then quality 16. All right, so we have... 18, 17, 16, and 15. All right, so we have 10 portions of quality 18 fried salmon. All right, so you're going to go ahead and look. My hunting is only at five. I only All that fish I cut, I only went up five points in my hunting. And the reason for that, if you go over here to your equipment and stats, is that my food quality is only 0.5. Your food quality is how much experience points you're getting every time you do something. If you're, if you're eating good food, your food quality will go up. That means your experience points multiplier will go up. Right now, I only got half the experience that I would normally get because I was starving to death and my food quality was complete garbage. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to eat some of this fine salmon. The game takes the last five plates you've eaten and averages it, guys. All right, it's still at 0.5. We're going to eat again. See if we can raise this. It went up to 0. 0.6. Let's eat again. Point 0.5. It went down to 0. 0.5. I don't know why I did that. Oh, I ate the wrong one. See, that's what happens. 0. 0.6. Eat again. 0. 0.7. Eat again. 0.7. Ooh, not good, people. Not good, people. This is why high quality food is so important. 0.8. We might get it up to point to 1.0, maybe, if we're lucky. To 99. And I have 0.8 food quality. That's the best I can do. So I'm still only going to get 0.8 my experience by fishing, but as I fish and my level goes higher, the quality of the fish will go be, will become higher. And then my experience points will get higher. Do you understand? I hope I hope that's clear. I know it's kind of not very clear, but I hope that you understand where I'm where I'm going with this. So, guys, what we're going to do now is I'm going to continue to fish, and we're going to get our we're going to get our our hunting up as high as we can, which will increase the quality of the fish. And we're going to go back and we're going to cook some more and go back and forth. And I am going to have to get more branches before I can cook any more. I have four more fish I can cook. We're going to have to run back up into that tree line and get some more branches. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually throw away this food. We're going to throw away all this low-quality food. We don't want this low-quality food. We just don't. We're going to keep the high-level plates. If somebody comes by and they want this food, they can have it. Because I'm going to be fishing until I get quality 30, quality 35, quality 40, when I'm getting 1.4, 1.5 XP. 2.0 and 2.3. I think 2.3 is the most we've ever seen in primitive food. And that's quality 90 plates. When you start producing quality 90 food, then you're going to start seeing 2.1, 2.2, 2.3 in your, in your experience points. So if you don't have a power hour in this game, that's the only other way you're going to be able to do it is to increase your food quality. And that's just for the primitive food, mind you. When you're talking about three ingredient foods, four and five ingredient foods, the XP multiplier can go up to as high as five times the normal rate so right now it sucks but it gets better trust me it does now we're not starving to death i have 11 plates of food here and it's going to go ahead and my my food quality is going to keep going up so when my when my hunting reaches 30 that's when we're going to it's where the next the next episode is going to start guys so i'm going to go ahead and we're going to leave it there hopefully 
I know this is kind of a short video, but hopefully you, you can understand the basics of why food quality is so important. Oh, also, everything that you craft, everything that you do, the quality of your campfire, the quality of your fishing pole, the quality of the water that you're fishing in, the quality of the fish you catch, the quality of the firewood that you're using, and the quality of the sticks that you're using to cook the fish, everything is a part of what produces higher quality food. So other, in other words, you need the highest artisan you can have, the highest nature lore you can have, and the highest hunting you can have. What does that mean? That means you need two people. That means to get quality 90 or quality 100 plates of primitive food, you're going to need two people. You need one person that has really high artisan. You need one person that has really high nature's lore and hunting, or one person that has really high artisan and nature's lore, and one person that has really high hunting, or you know, however you want to mix it up. Three people would work. If one, one of you had 100 hunting, 100, another person had 100 nature's lore, 100, another person had 100 artisan, you could create 100 quality primitive food. But until you have that, you're unfortunately going to be lacking in the best food possible without being a cook. Alrighty, guys. Well, I hope that helped you out. And it looks like it's midday, so I'm going to continue on fishing. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going fishing. Bye-bye.